Here at Levens Hall, all of these unique topiaries would have been grown from cuttings. It's an incredibly simple skill to acquire and will allow you to grow and clip a whole menagerie of shapes and figures for next to nothing. Now, if you're clipping box in sort of mid to late summer, it's also perfect time to collect cuttings for propagation. And box is incredibly forgiving so that you just snip off some of these nice long shoots just take them a little way back into there so you've got almost a little bit of the old wood there but otherwise they're semi-ripe just take those off and ideally you do this first thing in the morning is always great because the plants taken up lots of moisture overnight and these will all make new little box plants now that's a nice little pile of cuttings there now, the thing with box is that it's generally incredibly easy to grow. So instead of putting it into a pot and growing it in a greenhouse or in a cold frame, I'm going to do it here straight into the ground. Now, these are semi-ripe cuttings, which means that all of this growth has come this year. And you can see the tips, they're still very soft. But then here along the stem, well, that's got a bit of bend in it, but it's semi-ripe. And then here at the very end, this little bit is last year's wood and it's become quite tough. So I'm just going to snip off a bit of that at the end and you do that just underneath a pair of leaves and then I'm just going to strip all of these lower leaves from the stem. You want to expose a good sort of half to two thirds of the stem and that's so that these new little plants don't get stressed by having too much leafage on there that they have to support. I do love this idea of getting plants for free. And I know that with something like box, you've got to wait a little while. I mean, they're not the fastest growing plant, but you'd be surprised, you know, you'll forget about them. A couple of years later, think, oh my goodness, I did that and didn't pay anything for it. I've forked over this bit of ground and also weeded it to make sure that there's nothing competing with the new little plants. And then I'm just using a pencil as a dibber, really, just sort of waggling that around to give a bit of space. And then just dropping the cutting in and firming it back round. And I'm just going to do that in a row, right the way along here. Now I'm putting these in about five or six inches apart, which is just about close enough to give a nice dense little hedge. But also if I decide to dig something up and replant it, move it somewhere else or pot it up, then I can get in there. It's enough space between them to do that. And then just make sure that they stay moist, that they don't really dry out. And my father used to say, throw a stick in the ground and it'll grow. And in the case of box cuttings, it really is true. It will take about two years for these cuttings to fully establish and grow into small bushy plants. But then within a few more years, you could have your very own little Levenshall right on your doorstep. Imagine that. <laughs>